G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Starfield, where we have just made it to the Astral Lounge in Neon City. Now the reason why we're back in Neon City is because, well, in the previous episode, when we decided to follow through on the request from Walter, uh, that essentially took us back to Neon City anyway, so we're going to be spending a little bit of time here. Uh, now let's just review what we need to do for our main objective here. So uh, there's a couple of points that need to be done uh, before the transaction for that artifact can happen. One is that we're checking on the security of the Astral Lounge. So uh, that's something that we're going to apparently need to ask about. And I don't know if we need to observe anything, but anyway, We'll uh, obviously find out very, very soon. And the other point is to actually investigate uh, the actual seller of the artifact and whether or not we can leverage anything uh, from knowing a little bit more info on that seller. Um, this person's just really staring at us. Everyone's staring at us, actually. <laughs> uh, now, I'm not entirely sure about these costumes. Uh, Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, it is what it is. Uh, Astral Lounge is apparently the place to be the on Neon City. But uh, anyway, let's go up this there. Uh, what is that, the bar? I guess we're asking the bartender about the security of this place. Welcome hey, mate. To the Boone Morgan. Ah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Ah yes, I shouldn't forget that this place is the only officially licensed Aurora distributor. Uh, everywhere else is illegal apparently. I mean, I don't really understand why that's the case. I'm sure the prices are jacked up here though. Um. I'm definitely here to try the Aurora. Uh, wait, so Aurora is illegal or not? Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. I bet you Benjamin Bayou's got some kind of a stake in this business and that's why he's only authorized this place to sell it. Uh, you know what? I prefer alcohol, thanks mate. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Anything on the menu that you recommend? That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. Uh, thirsty? Alright, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously refreshing, fruit-infused red wine served in a commemorative bottle. But if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our Bayou Private Reserve, a painstakingly distilled cognac stored in the purest Arcturan crystal. That enough? Or are you hungry as well? Uh, that's all for now. Of course, of course. Purchasing a penthouse? Okay. I didn't know we could do that. Uh, who create the, uh, created the music for this place? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Uh, what can you tell me about Administrator Bayou? Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon. Making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, alright, well, I do have a meeting here later. 
and I'm worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Hmm. Where exactly would a secure meeting take place? Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevators. Maybe we'll use the elevators and check out the place. Say I needed control of the doors to prevent someone from walking out. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. Mm, say I needed security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. 4,000 creds. Uh, let's try and persuade this guy. Maybe. Uh, I do need to get sourced before we do that though. Come back soon. So, we may as well order some wine or something, so... Start with a drink, perhaps? Let's take a look here. Okay, they've just got Aurora right here for the taking. Baguettes. Apparently we need some baguettes. But anyway. Buy you private reserve. Plus 15% persuasion chance for 10 minutes. That's actually quite long. So if you know that you're going to be needing to persuade people um, you know, over a course of 10 minutes, then uh, let's go with the Chandra or d does he have like sparkling wine? Yeah, sparkling wine should be enough. 10% persuasion chance. Let's do it. So give me one. Or should I just buy some? Uh, I guess there is a chance that we might find some sparkling wine during our adventures, so I don't really want to be spending our credits on it, but let's quickly consume Enjoy this right now. Uh, there we go. Nice and sourced up. Let's now see if we can persuade this guy to, something to drink? not have to pay for security. The Astro Lound. Then I would say you'd be interested. All right, that's the, uh, sorry, that fee seems a little high. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. So I guess maybe we're not going to be able to get away with paying nothing, but perhaps maybe a discount. You lower the fee, I'll be sure to stop by the Astral Lounge every chance I get. A loss leader. I make you pay less now, in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Sweet. Alright. Yeah, let's do a thousand creds, because that's uh, the amount that we were given by Walter anyway to cover expenses. He didn't really give us much, did he? Alright, sure. Let's become the VIP. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Sweet. Alright. Uh, I don't know if that makes us a VIP of the Astral Lounge permanently, or if we just have the services for this one meeting, but anyway. Uh, I'm curious about this penthouse, so... Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. 235,000 creds. I mean, I've got the creds to buy it if I really wanted to, but... Uh, maybe our money is best spent on either clearing our debt or... Uh, playing around with a new ship, but anyway. Uh, tell me about the penthouse. What features does it offer? Well, of course. The Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. 
Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. Hmm. Sounds really cool, but maybe later. How unfortunate. But I will be here should you change your mind. Cool. All right. Uh, let's go. Hope to see you again. And okay. let's take a look at what's updated here in our mission. So check the door controls. Um, Hello. So I guess we need to go back to Howdy. the elevator. I wonder if there are perhaps maybe some interesting people that we might be able to speak to here. Seems like just run-of-the-mill NPCs. Okay. I guess this is one of the meeting rooms or something like that. I heard there's shortages over at Rely Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. Hmm, okay. So we can have a chat with this Doc Manning. Maybe later. Alright, what is going on here? Are people gonna get knocky at us for uh, breaking into this computer? I mean, no one's here anyway, so... I feel like it's been a while since we've been doing any digi-picking. Uh... That looks okay. That looks okay. I think that's what we'll go for. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Remote door control. Adding new user to remote door control override. Approved hand signal will allow use to lock door to VIP lounge a total of one time. Okay. So I only have one chance to lock the doors if I need to do that. Is that what it's saying? This room has been booked by Redacted. Please see Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. Okay, so I guess Walter was pretty good to not leave a paper trail behind. But I mean, I don't know why we need to be so secretive about it because, you know, people know about Constellation anyway. Hmm. Got a whole bunch of stuff here as well. By all means, feel free to disturb me. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Oh, okay. Sounds like a very, very nice character, this Benjamin Bayou. Um, do I want to have a chat with him right now? Maybe... maybe not. I'm sure we'll cross paths with Benjamin Bayou at another time. What is going on in here? Okay, another meeting room. And I guess this is another one as well. Oh god, um, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Good thing security didn't exactly see us do that. Hey man. Yeah. Uh, nothing to see here. I'll just check out the other side. You know, we're scoping out the place, making sure security's up to scratch. Okay, DJ. Uh, let's have a chat. Yeah, sorry. I don't do autographs. Uh... I was gonna offer you mine? I don't want your autograph. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Cool. Most people that come up to me just want an autograph for a picture. And after I've been modding all night, it gets really annoying. What's modding? 
timing the beats, turning the dials. Come on, stay with me here. That's the price of stardom, I guess. Oh, so it's my fault. I suppose next you're going to tell me it's okay for fans to start stealing stuff too. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing. And someone ripped me off. Total drag. How did you get started in the music business? I started playing music when I was 10. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was 15, I got my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> pretty crazy. Feeling the music? Uh, I could help you find your slate. Oh man, wow, that would be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Need another hit of Aurora? I got you covered. Keep it coming. Why is the slate so important? The thing is, I perform here at the lounge every single night, which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. What exactly do you have on your music slate? Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. Okay, almost like a journal. Well, there's no aura. I, I just want to get paid. Hey, don't worry about it. If you find that music slate, I'll shunt you some credits. Make it worth your time. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Do you have any idea who might have taken your slate? Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans. And they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. Bad vibes and long knives. Okay. Uh, does using Aurora help you write music? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it allows <laughs> me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know. If you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but the reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. Mm, okay. You know, one of these days, we'll, uh, we'll buy some Aurora and we'll actually use it and see what happens. Don't really know what kind of effect it's going to give us. Oh, look at this! Little, uh, cleaner bot. I'm guessing it's here for cleaning, but anyway. Uh, time to head back and to actually look into the other half of this mission, which is to check in... Well, not really check in with the buyer, but we're going to dig up some dirt on... Uh, not the buyer, rather, the seller. So, yes, let's get to it. We don't really need to fast travel, do we? Let's uh, get back to the main elevator here. All oh, right, it's uh, it's not a main elevator. This just leads out to the core. Right uh, now, with that DJ's request, we'll definitely do that when we get the chance. But for now, let's just focus on helping Walt with his issue.
Mining League. Hmm. I think I'm getting distracted here. Neon Tactical. Ah, here we go. Uh, so is this the actual seller or James Newell? Have a moment. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. It's Administrator Bayu. As long as he's in charge, the city now, James. Worse and worse. I don't want you to get upset. Okay, there's a little bit of uh, jank going on with the conversations here. Uh, let's just take a look at the mission once more. Uh, the seller was connected to us by James Newell. Okay, so this is not the seller. Uh, His I wouldn't Majesty expect to be speaking to the seller directly. And walk amongst us peasants? What did he want? He said he wanted to personally thank us for our contributions to the city, and hopes for our continued support. I'm sorry. Our contributions? Those taxes we pay are a sham, so he can line his ivory trade tower with another layer of gold. It makes me sick. If I think they're buy something, I'd be happy to help. talking about Benjamin Bayou there. Uh, is it Benjamin Bayou or Bayou? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Alright, James? Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Sieghart? What's that? Sieghart's Outfitters? Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. Whoa. Detecting a bit of hostile competition going on here. Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing. But Sieghart's given me no choice. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. What kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. How do you keep your place safe? By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. For all you know, he doesn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Is all of Neon security corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Hmm, I wonder if we'd be able to change that. Anyway, uh, what's the story with you and Rosa? I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. That's sweet. Um... So we could talk to Sieghart and see if I can talk some sense into him. Um, oh, okay. 
Yeah, that'd be extremely helpful. I honestly don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, my friend. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Okay. So, another side quest here. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got questions for you. So, you set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> okay. More persuasion here. Do we want to try our luck without the wine? Uh, let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. Mate. Okay, I wonder if we could do his side quest first and not have to persuade him, but anyway. You already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter. We're not paying twice. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep Crate 1. Let me write down the unit for you. Sleep Crate 1. Okay. Well, there we go. So we've got a bit of a direction or a lead. Uh, so this is Rosa. Let's have a chat with her. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. What types of things do you sell here? We're a general goods store, so we carry all sorts of materials you can use to outfit yourself for galactic exploration. She's uh, about to yawn there for a second. Uh, yeah, here. Hope nothing's wrong. You sound awfully tired, or... That doesn't tell me much about what you sell here. Oh my goodness, you're right. I should be taking better care of my customers. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. Why would Dietrich Sieghart be paying off Neon security? For protection. I assume. They apparently target certain businesses with some type of safety assurance fee scheme. We've been spared that indignity so far. But it's absolutely disgraceful this kind of thing is happening. Hmm. You don't think Sieghard's doing anything wrong? I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. I mean, he's just sitting right there, but anyway. Why are you convinced that your husband's wrong? It's just a feeling that I have about Dietrich. I'm sure he's paying off Neon security because he has no choice. I can't afford to fight back like my husband expects. Well, I've already told James that I'll get to the bottom of everything, so... ...don't really need to worry anymore. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and... ...offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Do you mind telling me how you and your husband met? Oh, he'll be so upset for me telling you this. But it's such a funny story. I can't resist. James and I used to work on the Chasm Bass line at Xenofresh. We didn't do any of the Aurora extraction, just dealt with the leftovers. I was a supervisor on the line, and when the alarm went up that it had been stopped, I investigated. I find James inside a storage vat, up to his shoulders in stinky fish guts 
and blind as a bat. The gun got in his eyes, you see. That's I disgusting. I had to walk him to the showers, strip his work clothes, and hose him down. When he saw me standing there, he turned bright red. <laughs> After the shift ended, we went out for a terror brew and talked. A year later, we were married. <laughs> Better times. Better times. Hmm. I wonder if there's something behind that and whether or not she's a bit unhappy with her marriage or something. Or maybe it's just the issue with Dietrich. But, uh, Thank you for stopping by. Anyway, we'll definitely get to the bottom of that. So, plenty of things to do here in Neon. Firstly, there's that DJ's request, and then now these people want us to do stuff as well. But uh, not before investigating this cellar. So, uh, I think it was like Sleep Crate 1 or something like that that we need to check out. So, let's get to it. I'm gonna have to go through Ebside. Let's hope not to get shivved in the back. So, through here? Door's locked, though. I wonder if people are going to be happy about us sort of going in. Oh, okay, this is just inaccessible. Um, I don't see any security or anything like that around here, so let's do it. Termination notice. A few other slates here. Interesting. Due to changing priorities within the organization, your role within Slayton Aerospace has been made redundant. Please clean out any personal items and inform anyone who needs to know about your imminent departure by the end of the day. We thank you for over a decade of service and trust that our long standing relationship will keep this transition. Free of unpleasant incidents. Okay. Is this literally like. This is like a toilet. <laughs> Why? Anyway, let's have a look at this. Please be advised that your current pay cycle will once again leave you with a near zero balance in your account. No way. Right. Apparently, we need to access this computer, so. To Musgrove, you might not be aware, but there is a certain item that your employer has the other uh, has that others have taken an interest in. Now I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you, a friend. Okay, so this guy's sort of blackmailed the seller into stealing the artifact, I think. Um, to Musgrove, I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of, to uh, of time before they come for you. What? Hmm. Okay, mission's updated. So now we need to talk to Walt about the cellar. Let's go ahead and do that. Nothing to see here, fellas. Well, Upstanding citizens. That's What's going on here?
Oh yeah, I guess this is where they sell all of the fish and Rather stuff. Doing this and mixed up with the gangs. Must be a little bit stinky. Euphorica. Ah, oh, I think this is the bar that has uh, the bartender that we need to speak to about the missing slate. I'll come back for it. Be sure you never find yourself on the wrong end of a bounty. If you've come to talk about bounty hunting, I can answer questions. If you want to pick up a bounty job, go to the local mission board. Be warned, though. If you think this work is for making a quick credit, you may not be cut out for it. Take skill, precision, and a willingness to risk your life. Got any good bounty hunting stories? I do. But I do not share these stories, for it is not a job to be celebrated. I've seen them beg for their lives. Try to pay me not to bring them in. I'm not proud of all the lives I've taken. This life is kill or be killed. Each bounty represents a desperate person unwilling to face justice willingly. They do not play by the rules. Remember that. Hmm. Uh, so I forget how to actually do the Tracker's Alliance missions. So where do we find these missions? Jobs are posted on mission boards across the settled systems for freelancers to find contract work. Complete the contract, earn some creds. The Trackers Alliance uses them for some of the simpler jobs, or when there's too much work, but not enough trackers. They're posted in most local bars, especially those near spaceports. Hmm, okay. Goodbye. So, we have, I guess, seen these boards before. I was more hoping that we would do some bounties where you would hunt a person down and then you know you might actually yeah, Frank, have to Renick's speak to them about paying the bounty or we had a good laugh uh, about you know station. dying <laughs> basically uh, all right let's go up to Stroud Eklund HQ and let's see what's next Is everything ready? I've cased the Astral Lounge. We're ready. Uh... Good. Let's be on our way then. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Oh, okay. I thought we could speak to him about what we discovered with the cellar as well. To the Astral Lounge. Um. Until next time. Come on, mate. Let's go. So, we know that the seller is desperate to offload the artifact, so we could use that to our advantage to maybe get a better price. Um, but if it's stolen, then I don't know. There could be another party involved, potentially. Walter? Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers? The scientists who discovered neon gas? Are they? Hmm. <laughs> you don't know what the seller looks like? It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Alright, use the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay, well, here goes nothing.
Let's try and find the seller. Uh, so we're looking for someone who's holding a briefcase big enough to hold the artifact. Now, is this something big enough to hold the artifact? I mean, that guy has something very similar. It looks a little bit small. Okay, this one looks slightly different. Oh, uh, and it's disappeared. She's started dancing. <laughs> uh, why Why would, like, you go to the dance floor with a briefcase in tow? It just seems really weird. Gotta love the jankiness. Uh, someone might be in there. That's what you said two drinks ago. Maybe you should slow down. Yeah. Oh no. Probably no one's in there. To officially switch to water. Uh, maybe at the bar. Pardon? Hey, you want to dance? Yes. What? Mickey Caviar. Say, kid, how'd you like to hitch your wagon to a celebrity star? Hmm? That's right. <laughs> the Mickey Caviar is in the market for a job, and you look like someone who could use a great ship's cook. What do you say? Your name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. How do I recognize you? Always nice to meet a fan. You must be familiar with my widely acclaimed food column, Mickey Caviar's Taste of Space. It's the jewel of the new Atlantean. Unfortunately for you and the rest of my fans, I'm retiring it. Allow me to personally apologize. I have an open space on my crew, but I don't really need a cook. Bummer. Who knew cooking was such an unmarketable skill? Hmm. Maybe I could help out somewhere else. I got plenty of other skills, and I'm not afraid to use them. Why are you looking for a new job in the first place? Because I just quit my old one. That's right. I'm done writing for the New Atlantean. My last location shoot was a total train wreck. I'll be damned if I ever set foot in my editor's office again. What kind of skills are we talking about? Well, I'm hard to kill, I'll tell you that much. I'm all right in the wilderness, too. Due to some unfortunate circumstances, I've had to get good at roughing it. I throw an all right punch, too. You gotta know how to do that to make it long in journalism. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe I'll take this guy on because we don't have to pay him, I don't think. So, uh, in comparison to some of those other crew members we can find in bars. Plus, uh, he's got a unique NPC name, so sure. Let's uh, give you a chance. Look at you, making my day. There's just one more thing I'd like to discuss. Oh uh, God damn it! My salary. The New Atlantean paid their top talent well. I'm used to a certain lifestyle. Sixteen thousand five hundred. How about a discount for your biggest fan? Hmm. I'm not usually one to bog. Well, you know, mate, who knows how long it's going to be before you get another offer. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. But you seem like a good kid. And I'm getting sick of the food here. I'll work for you lower rate. Okay, we are a smooth-talking gun today. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Let, let's let's do it. 
Then it sounds like we have a deal, boss. Ha! You'll love having me around. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, I'll I'll just uh, get him to. To just be unassigned for now. Or actually, why is everyone unassigned? Yeah, let, let's just leave him as unassigned for now. Uh, but we should really have a lot of other people being on the ship, so. Um, Lynn, Sam's on the ship. Um, Sarah's on the ship, Vasco should be on the ship, uh, Andrea, we haven't exactly done too much with Andrea, have we? Or Andreja. You've reached the maximum number of crew assignments with your current ship command level. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's why we don't have her on the ship. I'm gonna take a lap. Gotta sober up a little before I get to work. <laughs> so long, boss. Sweet. Okay. Cool. And, uh, you know, if we end up, like, doing outposts and stuff like that, we can always, like, get him to go to outposts. And since he's a chef, I suppose maybe we'd be able to, like, produce a lot of good foods and stuff. Maybe foods that'll actually give us some buffs Good. and benefits and stuff, so... Yes. Who are we looking for specifically? I mean, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, let's just take a look at that mission once more. Locate the cellar. Can't speak to this person. Oh, he's got the suitcase. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to be looking for suitcases, but there's not a lot of people carrying anything in this place. Huh? You have to speak up? I'm also thinking they might actually have, like, a unique look to them. Uh, maybe this hey. guy? You know, despite this being a club, everyone seems to be very cheery. What? I can't hear you. Get some the music's so good. Um, or are we supposed to maybe take the elevator up and uh, look for the person up there? Because I am not having any luck. It seems pretty dead up here, so I'm, th I'm thinking no. I'm thinking we go back down. And I sincerely hope that this mission's not like bugged out or anything. Music is amazing. Hell of a party, right? Woo! Hi, having fun? Yeah. This place. Huh. Live it up. Okay, everyone's got bags and stuff. Uh, probably not the right size bags. Been a while since I've had a hit of a 
Give it up. I can't hear myself think. Hey, enjoy you good? Can you believe this place? Hell of a party, right? Or maybe I need to go back up here. Oh, here's the guy. Bloody hell. All right, Musgrove. Yes. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Nice pin you got there. It's worth exactly zero credits. Same as my career. So don't get any ideas. I'm with Ramsey and Ta uh, Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. All right. We've identified the buyer. Let's get back to Walt and uh, maybe he has some kind of a plan. I just saw our seller walk by. Good job. He seems cagey to me. Angry even. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property after all. Anything could go wrong. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? Okay, so he's saying that money's no object, but anything can happen when we're in that room. Um, what if things get messy? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. All right, all right. No worries. We'll try our best. Yeah. Um, I just don't like the idea of being, you know, uh, taken advantage of and having to pay extra. But we know that he's desperate, right? So technically, we should have the upper Security's hand with any Sikuro form Okadigbo. of uh, bargaining. Quo, so, if you know what I mean. And I'm thinking we probably want to get sourced here for this. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have any sparkling wine or anything like that. So we're going to have to go with the Chandra. Uh, we'll go with the Chardonnay. Delicious. All right. So you're Stroud. You look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. I'll sit. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Uh, let's close the door for a little bit of privacy, shall we? Oh, yes, that's right. We can't do that. Maybe we only have one chance to do that. Look at us being all intimidating. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Fancy gear? Stop bluffing. We need, uh, we know you need to sell this quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount, 
Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. No, you won't. You still need the money. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... I don't know guys, should I use the remote trigger? Let's do it. What the? Security! You're not going anywhere until we have a deal, or I can... The security team and I have an understanding. They won't interfere. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. Nice. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Yes, yes we shall. Oh, uh, artifacts gone. I guess Stroud has it already. Uh, so that was good. We only had one chance to use our our lock there. So, but um, I thought we would have had to stand next to the controls to do it. Uh, I think Stroud is still following us. So, okay, hang on. It doesn't say that we have to go back to the lodge here. It just says head to the entrance. I'm thinking something else might- Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah, Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon, am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property, now. Yeah, we've already been sourced anyway, so we might as well persuade this guy. Don't do this. Don't die just to get a rock back. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Your boss didn't understand what he had. Constellation will share its secrets if you let us go. Really? Huh. That... Might change things. Give me a chance to talk to Slayton directly. We can sort this out. I'm listening. Huh. Alright. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Okay. Well, uh, I was going to say, maybe we do have to go to Slayton Aerospace and actually explain ourselves, but uh, let's take a look. So, yeah, it still says here that we need to head to the entrance. I'm not going to say this twice. Get the hell away from me. Oh, jeez. Okay. I mean, I didn't even touch you. Um, let's head back here and... Yeah, I'm hoping there are no more surprises. What's up? Oh, okay. Yeah, there are more surprises. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. God damn it. There goes our way out. Who is this Nicholas Slayton anyway? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... How do they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. 
Well, we need to get Slayton off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Okay, right. So we've got to get this big target off our backs, but uh, I think what I'm going to do before we actually head to Slayton... Uh, well, Slayton's offices. Let's actually buy some more booze. So, what'll it be today? Uh, let's of take course. a look at the menu, take mate, the and uh, let's buy ourselves some wine. And I'll stock up a little bit here. I'll, I'll get maybe three of them. That way, if we do need to persuade our way through, enjoy the lounge. We've got plenty of booze to use. Cheap booze, that is. Hey, wanna dance? This place I mean, I could use Hyperlita, but um, I'll just drink wine. I'll be making some calls. See if I can't lend a hand. What's your take on Neon's problems? Oh, interesting question. Neon is the ultimate playground for people who have money. And that means we exhaust ourselves sabotaging each other. It's fun, but a huge waste. Stroud Eklund, as a company, doesn't believe in restraint, but sometimes I wonder if Neon's lack of a moral authority isn't hurting everyone, even us. All right, let's get going. So, I think they said that the office is actually within the same tower, so we should be able to try and make an appointment here. Hopefully, they'll see us right away. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of weird, isn't it? That uh, Slayton Aerospace and Strout Eklund are basically in the same building. Alright, let's head on up. And hopefully this is not... Oh god, a level 22. Uh, we might have a bit of a fight on our hands, but... Uh, is Stroud next to us? Well, he's behind us, yeah. I, I guess he's not really up for a fight, is he? Uh, it's probably going to be us having to defend him. I don't know what happens if he dies in a firefight, but uh, we'll try not to let that happen. Anyway, guys, uh, I think our conversation with Slayton is going to have to be for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. As usual, leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.